ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ये भी गो So we all know Google is great at making apps, but they suck big time at advertising them. There are a lot of updates coming to the Google apps after the Android 10 update. Plus, you still have a lot of tricks hidden under the surface, like the Google Photos Bokeh mode, the Google Assistant Interpreter mode, real-time train location in Google Maps, and much more. So this is Pratik from TechWiser.com, and here are some of the G apps features or tips and tricks you didn't knew about. In the recent new update of Google Photos, you can now blur background of images. In case your phone doesn't have portrait mode or you just forgot to click the picture in portrait mode, this option does come handy. Firstly, the pic needs to be a portrait. So when you open a portrait pic in Google Photos with a distinguishable background, you'll get a small toast called background blur. The moment you tap on it, it will blur the background and you can even adjust the blur. Once done, save the copy. And just to show how good it is, let us consider the popular After Focus app. So here is the original picture and this is how the background blur from both the apps look side by side. The process with Google Photos is quite simple and works well, whereas you can get that perfect blur with After Focus if you like to spend half an hour. Now moving on, after I made the switch to Pixel 3, I've been using the Google Assistant a lot. Now, if you ever visit the other part of the country where people don't speak Hindi or English, you can use the interpreter mode to quickly converse with local people. Here, let me give you a quick demo. If you ever fancy a TechWiser intro in Hindi, here it is. Interpreter mode. Okay, what language should I interpret to? Hindi. Sure, Hindi. Hello, this is Pratik from TechWiser.com and let's just jump into this. Namaste, yeh takniki salakar.com se Pradeep hai aur chalo abhi isme kudate hai. Just a quick little one here. If you remember the Google I'm feeling lucky search button, there is something in Google Photos as well. Just long press the Google Photos icon and there you go. In case it doesn't pop up anything for you, you need to go out, travel and click more pictures, man. So you might already know about the Gboard Clipboard Manager. It's there hidden away in the Gboard settings and quite unintuitive to use. That's why people still use third-party clipboard managers. But here's the fun part. I use Chrome's shared clipboard manager. It's not exactly a clipboard manager, but you can send text from the phone to your desktop. And here's the best one. You can send app links from your phone as well. For instance, this is our cool BTS video, which we posted on Instagram. And I want to send the link to Kaushal on Slack. So instead of opening Instagram on my desktop again, I just share the link using Chrome send to desktop option. For this to work, you need to have Chrome Beta on your phone and enable these three flags on Chrome desktop. Next, make sure you have the same account sign in on both the device and sync turned on. Suppose you went on a trip recently and all of you have the photos. Now, instead of uploading them on Drive separately, you can instead share it directly through Google Photos. And you can go ahead and even add photos to it. Plus you can even chat within the app, which is fun. You can just spam everyone with notifications. Overall, it is basically a private feed. But a quick little tip, if you share photos with random people, make sure you enable the remove geolocation toggle. So you might already know about the Google face tagging feature. In case you don't, visit the album section and you would have a folder called people and pets. Here you can find faces of people from your photos and it is insanely awesome. Like have a look at this picture. It's a side face of Kaushal so far out in the image and it can still identify it. Moreover, you can even rename these faces.
and directly ask Google Assistant to search those photos for you. And in case if the algorithm messes up somewhere, you can manually alter the face tags and replace them. But here's the cool part. Due to the categorization of people by face, you can select all of their photos and delete all at once. I mean, you know whose pic you have to delete. The job gets easier. Of course, Google Maps can show you your reservations, hotel bookings, everything under the same window. But it can also tell you about your current train status. Let me show you. Suppose I want to go to Mumbai from Delhi. So I'll put the source and destination accordingly. And now when I go to the train section and tap on the train name, it shows me the live running status of the train. All this data is pulled up from the Indian Railway database. So it is updated and accurate. Next, I also use it to manage my daily commute or commuting in general. Just search for the destination and it shows you the metro route, bus, etc. Moreover, it will also show you the timings of the buses and metro. This makes commuting so efficient. Back in Mumbai, I used to use the M Indicator app or the DMRC Metro app here, but now it's one app less on the phone. Plus, Google Maps is working with the Delhi government to even map and show up 511 rickshaw stands within the app. Another small little trick here is you can measure the distance between places. Here's how you use it. Tap on a place on the map and tap on the information card appearing at the bottom or just swipe up. You will see an option called measure distance. Now drag the pointer to a place and it will show you the exact distance. You can add multiple points and this way you can measure the perimeter of a park. In case things show up in miles, you can change it to kilometers in the navigation settings. And lastly, if you're worried about giving all your data to Google, there's a small legit way to stop that. Head over to the overly popular Google activity tab and here you can set up periodic auto deletion of data. The only caveat here is you need to set it up separately for YouTube history, Google Maps and Google Chrome search. But post that, your data will be deleted automatically. And on that note, this is Prateef from techwiser.com. See you soon.